doing lately. I've just been beyond busy, um, especially at this one project. I've done a lot more here than I quoted on and stuff that, you know, the GC, the GC general contractor should be telling the other guys what they got to do kind of thing. But anyways, I've been stupidly busy. So I uh, will show you what we got going on here today. Let's get her at it. So we got a trench coming along through there. We have a flat roof above this one. So on the side there, there's three use troughs. The one guy that was helping him out said, we'll do a French drain along the side of the house. And I'm like, well, no, don't do a French drain beside the house. You don't want to send all that water to your, to your basement, to your weeping tile. So we are working on Lake Nipissing, so it's all really good sandy material. So we're gonna hook our pipes up to downspouts and then turn it into a weeper right there. All the way over to about here, where we're gonna dig a hole and do a French drain. So let's do that. All right, so we moved on to something else because our clear stone isn't here yet. You see, we got some sonitudes in there with big foots down at the bottom. I do have a retaining wall going in across this way and this way, but there's an easement here. I'm only allowed to go eight feet out off the property. This job has been fun. Super fun. So now, we gotta backfill these. Very, very slowly. Finally shooting a video on this job site, eh? It's been, uh, it's been a hell of a job. So, we got our sauna tubes, Bigfoot's in, pictures taken of it. We got four inch rigid foam insulation, uh, our value, uh, 20.2. And we need that there, check the, uh, funding for the house. You guys uh, excited of all the extra stuff that we're doing here that other contractors should be doing? Mm. Well, it's a good thing you like uh, Mr. Felpo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. It just sucks when you have other places to be. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get her done. Uh, you know what? I haven't even showed them what we did here. Have a look at this. JT's sitting on our wall. So this is Rosetta Stone outcropping. Dimensional steps. Uh, Rosetta Stone outcropping retaining wall. Um, grand flag. This is all engineered product. Made to look natural. Uh, we're about four feet high on the highest point of that wall. We got all these lovely steps coming in. This is all... Really, really nice stuff. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. Well, let's keep our day going, eh, boys? All right, let's enjoy our coffee break. Or in my case, tea. So I'm leaving the rake on my machine. So obviously you can tell we're getting a footing ready for a retaining wall.
So you can see, barely see our sauna tubes. They are vertically level. They're spaced out properly for, uh, there's gonna be a walkout right there with a platform here with stairs coming down the side and then steps going down up over our retaining wall to hit the driveway way over there. So you can imagine the amount of material I'll be bringing into this site, which is pretty convenient because I have a 4,000 square foot driveway with amazing subsoils. Uh, I think about two kilometers from here that I'll be digging out. So all that material will be coming here rather than 30 kilometers away to a pit. So I will save myself some time and money. the hell out of because that lift is actually uh, it's about six to eight inches thick so we, this is our fourth lift and this is going to drop down really really well so we will have to fine tune it one more time after we do this uh, but before we start this wall here we have one other thing we got to do at the side of the house that i was mentioning this morning about uh, downspouts for a flat roof uh, in our French drain you've seen us dig out, we're gonna end up getting that uh, buttoned up. Yeah, we'll see you over there when we're ready to do that. All right, so we got our clay clear stone. It's uh, in those bags. I didn't feel like uh, riding the dump truck today, so.
back here. BT over there. Anyways, what we got going on over here is uh so he's got three downspouts coming off the side of the house here. It's a flat roof house. Um, I'm gonna tie all these in together with a six inch corrugated from the front one to the middle one to the far one here. And then we'll follow that out with a weeping pipe, six inch weeping pipe, which is right there. That'll be coming in along here into a French drain, which has got uh, two big bags of clear stone in there. Um, the reason this we put a weeper right here is because we planted these line of trees here yesterday and uh, that's not going to hurt anything having a pipe weeping in there and into the French drain. So that's pretty good. They'll have lots of drainage in there. The subsoil is all around that and underneath it are all good draining. So JT's, that's the geotextile cloth line all around the clear stone yep big ass french drain yeah and jt's folding the fabric over we'll go over that with some fill of course everything will be graded and then top dressed with topsoil back here eventually yeah it won't be till august we do that though because right now we're just doing uh, the retaining wall there that lower patio that we showed them uh kind of half-ass subgrading this yeah and then prepping for the driver, we have a lot of material to bring into the driver before we can even bring a driver in for that. Yeah, we'll, sh we'll show you that when we get out there. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah once we're done this, we're, I think we're just going to get that the last step in for that, the patio area. Then we'll start that wall. Yep. Cool. Alright guys, JT Johnny here, whatever you want to call me. We just finished putting this all in. We got 6 inch corrugated here into a weeper into our french drain that's all the way down there that's already filled over we're gonna connect this east trough this east trough and three east troughs we may need different tees to swap out because these are four inch and it's a bit bigger than four inch it's a flat roofed house so they have square downspouts yeah planted these trees yesterday just finished putting soil around grading around doing a little half-assed subgrade yeah looks fairly decent all right we'll check back with you guys in a little bit all right so we're digging here because the footing is way too high this resisto i mean whoever was in charge of this job had no clue what the they were doing pardon my language and you know what that's another thing i haven't been swearing because some people in the snow plowing videos were didn't like it but you know what I, I don't like it anymore than they do but i like to try to keep things real so this is what we're gonna do if i swear i'm gonna swear whoever doesn't like it i do apologize like I'm saying, I'm just trying to keep things real. But anyways, the resisto has got to be cut down on the foundation here because the grade is way too high where the resisto is and they still wouldn't have proper coverage over the footing because where Johnny's standing right now, the footing is maybe like four inches below that. So regardless, we would have had to put uh, rigid foam, four inch thick, uh, rigid foam, get us that R value up there, R21, four feet out away from the house laying down. Uh, I'm gonna keep digging this out. We gotta do it all the way from the corner where I dug all the way around to where, uh, let me see if I can swing around here. All the way over here. Let's get this crap out of the way. There's gonna be a uh, basement walkout in there. Um, that's going to be like a screened in area. There's going to be a pork slab in there. So there's got to be uh, four feet out from that uh, wall that's going to be there. Um, and it's got to be underneath that entire slab, four feet, because he's not going to have that heated. It's going to be a screened in area. 
So we're gonna be four feet past that way, all the way up to the sauna tubes, which are right over in that area where we already put the insulation down. Um, I gotta go from where we dug out all the way there around here. As you can see the three quarter clear right there. Uh, that's pretty much the damn footing right there. So yeah, we gotta do uh, four feet out, four inch thick all the way around there uh, because someone doesn't know what the hell they're doing. I'm How's it going, Johnny? That's what you have, how you doing? Pretty good. JT's just uh, finishing tuck taping some of the insulation so we could backfill a good chunk of it. We obviously see that insulate under there to the slab that's gonna be poured, which we may be doing. So that piece of insulation runs all the way through underneath our footing, back to about here. After this wall is up to its finished grade, which is way up here, It'll be five feet tall. We will have it vertically, vertical insulation, four feet this way, four inches thick. Uh, just the same as what we did there. Underneath the slab, five inch slab, will be uh, also four inches of rigid foam. So we'll have uh, just under our, our value of 21. So what we did, oh, there's one more joint there, eh, bud? It's right there. Uh, what we did is all the way around like there is going to be a slab like I said underneath here but uh, this insulation is actually sloped this way because it's going to be exposed to the elements water etc to get the water out we don't want water going that way under the slab so this will be level with the slab because this will be in a closed area uh, yeah so that actually will overlap this section of insulation uh, by one piece but we'll still be four inches there. It's actually five inches because it's two and a half inch thick. So we're four feet out all the way over, all the way down. It's literally sitting on the footing and you can tell by these that we're only gonna have about a foot of coverage. So this has to be here to protect the footing. We're four feet wide, four feet wide, four feet wide. And right at this point here is where it starts. The footing actually steps down, 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 down to the existing cottage, which is right there. So this wall and about a third of this, uh, sorry, half of this wall is actually gonna have the four foot coverage, but we took this an extra four feet just in case. It's too bad the actual contractor didn't know about all this stuff we've, we've done, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. So you guys got footage of that French drain, right? Yeah, I got it. That's that. That's a nice view right there. I understand why people put so much money into places like this. Well, JT, we got our uh, back filled. We left that open because we we're gonna have to overlap with our uh, rigid foam insulation uh, going under that slab that's gonna be poured, which we're probably gonna be doing. That would be awesome, man. Eh? Freaking right thumbs up for that. Um, yeah. We finally got the permit for that now that we're done that's awesome isn't that cool oh, yeah, yeah, yeah i hope you're not watching this video valerie <laughs> she really wouldn't care because there's already a permit for this they just had to add it to the add it to the existing one so you want to close this video up yeah well you know actually we'll be... before we do we had a pretty damn good day didn't we we did we, we got did this wall good started good. which is going to be five feet tall almost near the uh the masonry there it'll be up there we got that all that rigid insula foam insulation in there. JT and I did that. Uh, we got our sauna tubes in. I didn't show them any of this. Yeah, yeah, I did because I was I was shooting the video. This is gonna be a crazy video, man. Got a whole lot going on here. Yeah, so we got that down there with our big foots. So just to show you how deep we are. We just have this covered up so water doesn't get in. So we got our big foots way down there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's uh, shine a light on this. All right. All right. I still can't. I don't want to drop my phone because it ain't gonna come back. So whatever. Yeah, it's not breaking. Yeah. It's, anyways, it's it's. Uh, we have our big foots down there. They're way down there. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, we did the French drain. Got all that stuff set up. Six inch corrugated into a weeper going into the French drain. Yeah, we got all that stuff. This was a good day. How many days have we been here now? We've been here five days now after today and we've got an insane amount done. 
Uh, we got that bottom patio area. We got all this stuff done. We have a whole bunch of trenching done. We just, th this was the only day we recorded anything. Yeah. And it, it was a good day, but every day we had here was a was a good day. We got a lot done. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna do a little better with that. It's my fault, just it's been, it's been just ridiculous. I almost need to hire a secretary to answer my damn phone. It's going off like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna change my voicemail to we are currently booked uh, until next summer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna send her off. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, hope you enjoyed the video. Got a good week of work in here at the Lakeside Job Site. We'll see you on the next one.